if you go to a school that's just really very boring, uh, basically the t school's telling you that you're boring. And if you go to a school where people have put a lot of effort into it, then you're telling the kids that they're important. The name of the whole mural is Tallulah, and it means running water in Native American. And so knowing how important water is in the desert, uh, a beautiful name. So we went around the corner and did Pinnacle Peak, and uh, the kids did, uh, parents came in and did pieces of the mountain, and more, more water was done, and we had them put their names on water, and, and uh, then we jumped, and we went along the walkway. We decided that we would include the next year's group, and so we had them do fish. And each class did uh, a different color of fish and put their names on them. And then we got the water underneath that too. And then we went up alongside of the atelier to do another tree because we had so many leaves. You know, Reggio Emilia schools uh, beautifully place the family at the center of the child's education. It is a culture of inclusion. And we needed to do that. And it, it just so happened that one weekend I happened to catch a PBS documentary on the artist James Hubble and his foundation's work in Tijuana, Mexico. And the families were all working together, uh, volunteering their time and creating these beautiful clay tile murals. And I thought, Gosh, if they can do it, so can we. We were visiting schools and looking at murals that they had put up with children at Children's Art. And it's so, it was something that was in the back of our mind that we wanted to do. Now, then I remember that you showed us this film and it just pulled it all together. You were as excited about putting tile on the wall as I was. And, um, so we, we sat down, we discussed it, we, we talked about it with Max Schaefer. And Max Schaefer at the time was the uh, assistant pastor. And he had children here, and Mac just loved the idea. And so uh, during our conversations, we're talking about, well, this is all well and good, but we don't have a kill. And Mac said, I have one. You guys can use mine. And then from there, I think you uh, said, well, I'll look into getting us a grant because it's going to cost some money. And we didn't have a lot of money at the time. And uh, yeah, cause we, we needed to get a clay muralist to help us because we didn't know and what we, we were doing. And, and not knowing anything about ceramics, absolutely. We needed, we needed help. So uh, when, we, when the interview came for the artists, we hired a gal by the name of Kasha Banco. And I must say, she taught me everything I probably Very know. Very talented lady. Very yes. talented lady. And you know, much to our delight, we received the grant. And so Cheryl and I once again became students. We started off small with um, gray clay and introducing it to the classrooms and the teachers and you know what and the, I've always it's such good therapy for the teachers and the children they there are no expectations and once you set aside if you have any and enjoy the moment with the kids it's a wonderful place to start at the beginning of the year for conversations it's um you get to immerse yourself in it we we just you know, once the teachers have were comfortable with it, I think they have thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, I'm just caught in it. See, it's so covered. It's so... It's all giddy roll, all giddy roll. kids love to take the wire and cut it. It cuts like butter with wire. It's just, you just hand them the wire, hand them the block of clay, and they will cut it 
as a complete experience. They're just happy to do just that. Well, you know, uh, the rolling is um, so important for small motor, and um, to get them to say clay instead of Play-Doh was a real huge step for all of them. But um, now we order uh, clay every two years, and we order 2,000 pounds, which is exactly one ton. So when I say I order a ton of clay, I, I really mean it, and store it in the closet, and um, it's worked out really well for us. And then, you know, the children love, they'll, they'll hand me something and they'll say, put it in the clay oven. And that, you know, it's wonderful to see that they want to take it home with them, and uh, they'll have a lasting memory. You know, so long. and then we, you know, it's also about uh, uh, things that are fragile, and teaching them how to be gentle with things, and uh, knowing that if it breaks, oh my gosh, it's gone. So, you know, there's there's just a wealth of knowledge that comes along with with working with clay. And and one of I think one of the things that we've learned from uh, the Reggio Emilia. Uh, experience, approach, whatever you want to call it, is that they really believe in the community. And that was something we needed to do. We needed to pull the church and the school together. And um, by doing this, we could invite the church members to come and buy leaves. And uh, we um, set up tables on Sunday and, and told them about it. And and had flyers there, and it was a wonderful response. We even had um, one of the clubs, uh, the Sage Club. The ladies came over, and, and they spent a day, and we had vis You know, we, we pretty much opened up the doors for them. They could come when it was convenient for them, so we kind of taught around them. We even them. had staff days where, where we, staff members could come. We did. And, and just walk in any time during the day and make a leave. Any time. Um, we started holding our Saturday workshops. And our workshops are always so much fun. I, You know, you, we just have the best time. And to this day, I find the dads, it's like they haven't sat down and had a chance to play with clay since they were in elementary school. So they just, you know, seem to really enjoy it. And, and then uh, we have some wonderful artists among our parents that make beautiful really tiles. Movies. In a couple of weeks we have another workshop coming up and it'll be the confirmation class from the church and this I think will be their fourth or fifth year of bringing in this confirmation class and um, you know it's it uh, it's really nice because they come in with their mentors they do and the mentors make something and they make something and, and then um, they leave us leaves yeah they leave us leaves trees. and sometimes they you know they they uh, have made something all on their own that they want us to put up so it's something that I hope will have a lasting it, it definitely is going to have a memory with me but I certainly hope it leaves a lasting memory with with the families that we've touched. The one thing about clay is I think it's taught us all to slow down because it takes time to make something um, memorable and important. What they've learned is that what they make has to dry out completely and then once it dries out then they can come back in and uh, they have to, to glaze it with our very special clay paints. And then, then it has to be fired. And then they get to put it on the wall or they can take their item home, whichever it is. But it has, I, th I think it has taught them that they can't, it's like instant gratification. They don't get it with clay. And I, I think that's really good for them to know that things like that take time. One of the fun little projects that we've done is uh, roll the clay into a, a little ball and then have the children step on it. And um, 
when they step on it, they don't completely smash it, but they their little shoe print will leave. Actually, the bottom of these children's shoes are adorable. They'll have kitties on them, or hearts on them, or road tracks on them, or cars on them, or you know. And and so what they'll do is they'll they'll put their shoe print on top of this round ball, and they'll see what what's on the bottom of their shoe, and they love it. Got it. All right. Push it in. Push it in with your whole hand. Mason, here, buddy. Here you go. Mason. Perfect. Hey, I'm putting um, some locks on. So, you know, sometimes yeah. I think I kid myself that uh, the children really, really notice and really see the wall. And uh, I happen to be down in the gecko uh, tortoise classroom. A couple of the children had... Uh, colored very colorful drawings so uh, they're very young artists and uh, had mentioned that that they had seen a, a beautiful wall and I, I really felt that geez you know um, we did it so many of us have made tiles for that wall and uh, it, it does reflect everyone that teaches and learns here in this community it is it's a beautiful space a lovely passageway for all of our families.